And of course, you know, for people in New York, like I'd never been in New York in my entire life, but sort of got to know uh, the perspective of a lot of people since then. And, you know, even just some of the stories I've heard today, like we went to a fire station with President Trump uh, after uh, the memorial ceremony this morning at Ground Zero. And, you know, there's this, there's this plaque in the fire station of this guy who died on 9-11, this firefighter who died on 9-11. And um, there's like, you know, all these little you know, trinkets and, and sort of uh, pieces of, of the guy's life there to mem memorialize him by. And it sort of hit me that, you know, talking to people and seeing some of this stuff, that he had a son that was born on September the 13th, 2001. So his wife was pregnant with their fourth child. He goes in, he loses his life, and two days later she delivers um, her, her, her fourth child. And I met that kid today. And so his 23rd birthday is in two days. And I talked with his older brother and his older sister. And, you know, it's, it's what, what you realize, I mean, I have three little kids. I have a seven-year-old, a four-year-old, and a two-year-old is like each of these kids remembers their dad differently, right? So the, the, the guy who was four when his dad died, you know, it was just kind of phantoms of a memory, right? He remembers a face or a smile. He has a couple of memories. And then the eight-year-old, she's 31 now, she was eight when he died. 